Oké, okay, terwijl ik om teken, kijk zo lang of jullie kan zin uitmaak. Moet niet zin hier nie. Wat is die woord grafiek is het hierdie? Hmm? Wat is dan die vee? Velocity versus time. So. Teach yourself to do this. Write down that you know the gradient of this graph will give you the acceleration. And the area under the graph will give you the distance or the displacement. Okay. Now, when we first snel and walk on us, he brought, but you can, for the beweging from A to B, signal of an eye a secure first snel and eh? How do I know that that will have an acceleration because it's not a horizontal line? Then the acceleration will change for this part. So it'll be something else. So the gradient of that part of the line, do you see, is different from the gradient of the first part of the line. And then what will the acceleration be here? No. But you can the carry keep of It's still moving, but it's moving at a constant velocity of what? 20. Want nou, as hy hier gele het, dan het hy stil gestaan. Nee? Maar hierdie ene staan nie stil nie, hy beweeg tegen een constante snelheid. And then here, he decelerates again. Do you guys see that that is a deceleration? Want hy is in negatieve lijn. Do you guys see that? We need to start interpreting the graphs that we're looking at. Okay. Nou sê hulle vir jou, een motor hy oorspronkelijk in een suidelike richting, nadat dit vanuit ris weggetrek het. So if it moves south originally, do you see that this part of the graph will be south and this part of the graph will be north? But I beweeg oorspronkelijk south. And see you the first step of this graph is under the x as. So with other words, negative words mean south and positive words mean north. That I deduct from the information given. I'm all right. Yeah? Okay. So, hierdie karikje begin uit reis, 0 meter per seconde. And do you see then he goes faster in a southern direction until he reaches 20 meters per second south. Okay? Dan hou hy aan om sy te beweeg, maar hy gaan al stadiger en stadiger en stadiger, nog steeds sy. Hy het die omgedraai nie. Stadiger en stadiger en stadiger en stadiger, totdat hy kom by 0. Wat gebeur met iets wanneer sy snelheid 0 is? Niks, hy staan stil. Nee? So that all part, here he is moving south, and here he is moving south. But this part of the graph, he is moving faster and faster and faster in a southern direction. Then, he's still moving in a southern direction, but he's starting to slow down in that southern direction until he comes to a standstill. Hy het nog nie omgedraai nie. Maar dan, hier, draai hy om. Hoe weet ek hy draai om? Want nou verander sy richting van noord, nie ek jok, van suid na noord. So he turns around and then he accelerates in a northern direction until he reaches 20 meters per second. Then he sustains that for 6 seconds. 
and then he starts decelerating slower and slower and slower in the northern direction until he comes to a standstill after 22 seconds. So, binnen hierdie 20 seconden het hy eers noord beweeg vir 8 seconden, nee, suid beweeg vir 8 seconden, and then he turned around, and then for the remainder, he moved in a northern direction. Sien jylle dit op die grafiek? Is ons allemaal by? Nee, jy vrou! Maar jy vrou gaan maak asof jylle by is. Vir wat er deelte van die grafiek stel beweging voor wat suid is? Gebruik jou alfabet. Van A tot? Hmm, nie A tot B nie. A tot C. Do you see everything from A to C is underneath the x-axis? So dit is alles suid. Sien ons dit? Goed. Wat er gedeelte van die grafiek stel beweging wat noord is voor? Van C tot? F. Mooi. How do we know that? Because that is above the x-axis, meaning that it must be north. Alles wat onder die x-axis is, is suid. Alles wat boor die x-axis is, is noord. In ieder geval. Because that's the, di the directions that they gave you in the description. Yeah? Where does he have a constant velocity? That's three. Also, how do we know this? Horizontal line means that he has a zero acceleration, meaning he has a constant velocity. Are you guys seeing what these graphs mean? Are you at least trying to get a bit of a hold of a grasp of a something on what is happening here? Alright, so what my lady Beskryf die beweging van die meter volledig vir die volgende gedeeltes van die grafiek. Gebruik die, rust, die richting, die snelheid en die versnelling. Ok, let's go in that order. From A to B, in which direction is he moving? Ok, he's moving. South. Is hy bezig om vinniger of stadiger te beweeg? Remember, he's going from 0 to 20. So he's accelerating. You guys agree? We can even calculate what the acceleration is and we're going to do it now. So I fish now. How do we get the acceleration on a velocity time graph? It's equal to the... Gradient. How do we get gradient? You guys remember that? Delta Y over delta X. But we're not going to write delta Y over delta X. We're going to write the value. So what is on the Y axis? What meters the OPI us? Robert on fear. Snell like. And what meters the X us? Hallo, hallo, sien jylle dit? Snelheid op die ei as, tyd op die x as. Kijk, van A tot B, wat was die verandering in die snelheid? It went from 0 to negative 0. Hoe doe jylle om verandering aan? Ach, negative 0. Sien, dit is nou wat gebeur as jylle gefrek is, dan rook ek ook die mekaar. And it went from 5 minus 0. So that is negative 4. Does it make sense that it's a negative? Yes, because he's moving. No, that's not really why. Matuma, can I feel a say come to How do you calculate the gradient of a straight line? Delta y over delta x. No? So the final value here is negative 0. Remember, we're only looking at this part of the line segment. So from this point. To this point, what was the change in y values? What's the y value there? Negative 20. No? Kom, ons skryf om as a gradient, vir ach as a koordinaat neer. Ok? So, final 
minus initial over final minus initial. That's how you calculate the gradient. Eh? So that's why I say minus zero, because it starts at zero. Got it? Okay. Okay, werk ook vir my die beweging van B na C se versnelling uit. So moving on to BC now. You guys will see on the next page, on page 2.7.3, there's also space there. They don't have BC there, but never mind, do BC anyway. Dus we gaan met die richting. En wat is die richting beweeg hy van B na C? Zuid. Versnel hy. Not really, he's decreasing his velocity, ja. Nee, nee, hy versnel in die noordelike richting. We're going to talk about this now. He's still moving in the southern direction. He hasn't turned around yet. He's moving in the southern direction, but he's going slower and slower and slower and slower in the southern direction. So as it's all stadiger in the zuidelike richting, all stadiger in the zuidelike richting beweeg, en wat die richting is sy versnelling? If something is slowing down in a straight line, it means his acceleration must be in the opposite direction. Stem hulle saam. En dis ook om die gradient van die lijn gaan positief wees, want die versnelling van die lijn is na nood. Die snelheid is nog na suid, maar die versnelling is na noord. Do we understand that? Okay, so, he's going slower. Nee? He's slowing down. And let's calculate at what speed he is slowing down. Okay, let's look at those two points. So I'm going from here to here. Do you agree that here it's 8 and 0 and here it is 5 and negative 20? That is my coordinate. And Sky Nazi is always final for the final minus initial. Final sign initials. Say skoma. I guess I'll get. Het is belangrijk dat jullie zien, hij beweegt nog zuid, maar hij beweegt al stadiger in die zuidelijke richting. Wat betekent zijn versnelling is nu? Zien jullie zijn versnelling is positief? Hij has a positive acceleration, meaning that he is accelerating at 6,67 meters per second north. Okay, 